what's up guys express here back with another video now this video is something special something different we are not in photoshop this time we are in pixlr uh, i've seen a lot of videos that were popping in pixlr so i thought let's just try it out designer uses pixlr for the first time if you want to see a tutorial in pixlr or something else in pixlr let me know we are here in pixlr for the first time let's create a nice simple shape create a new file let's create a file that we always do like a a, a header size is 3000 on a thousand of course what uh, tools do we have we have the basic selection tool the lasso magic wand to cropped cut out liquefied heel blurred focus want to make a nice little shape banner nice shape cream color all backspace does that work that does not work bucket tool this ctrl d to deselect yes that works okay this is the basics go on guys give me some hype in the chat please what if you do like more circles in the back but just with different um blacks what if you use like the brush okay uh, we cannot make it bigger like we do in photoshop size bigger softness gray sploosh though like why is the brush like a weird effect is that something that we can work with i don't know it does not look as spicy as i want um i want like maybe a mountain in the foreground like a simple mountain looking kind of thing boom deselect okay that looks nice the bottom okay that's that's a nice mountain i can i can work with that and then we can maybe like do something simple i get my logo and i place my logo in there drop an item create a new that could work that could work it has like an all melee shadow i don't know why it has that yes is that a nice shape i don't know i don't know if it's a nice shape or not gradient what if you add if, what, can we add a gradient <gasps> we can add a gradient to it nice okay i figured it out free distort what does that what does that do oh it's distorted okay you can add like little things like that yeah 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 yeah. little shapes little shapes always find a way um with like a with the green color i have like a little okay a little highlights color and now we can use one of the blending options overlay okay make it less vibrant cool smudge oh oh what, the, what is this <laughs> what is this what is that what if you make or oh, could we could we could we like make my logo 3d so we copy then move can we move it to move to apply okay then make a new layer empty we want the same color like that okay okay then we take our polygon tool yes and we make a nice little thing uh watch the shortcut for the fill shortcut f okay oi, oi, oi. not the same color boys that's gonna be the, as best as i could probably do it um then select the again okay sure i let's just wait let me just okay go to layer or image or what whatever you can make squares That's cool. That's cool. Oh, damn. Damn. Okay. Um, I'm just getting glamour. What is glamour? Amount of glamour. Apply. No idea what that was, but sure. Glitches, RGB splits. Oh, you can do the splitty splitties. That's cool. That's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just, I'm just trying out different stuff. Add a new layer and just type express. What kind of fonts do they have here? Can you download custom fonts as well? sure could work could work effect library <gasps> wow 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 that's just like their own right it's like it's like camera raw filters Mono blur. yes apply now take our brush and erase a bit of you know hue and saturation they have hue and saturation cool this is okay cool it's basically everything that photoshop has but you know um, brightness and contrast pop that contrast a bit up you know okay maybe not adjustments what is hdr mimic hdr cool it looks it looks better with the hdr effect i have no idea what the HD, hdr effect is now i guess i have it a little bit too much glitch effect i don't know i'm just i'm just seeing what they have you know that is it that is it i'm kind of happy with it i got to know the program a bit better i got to know how people make stuff with this uh, and i completely understand why you would use this 
if you don't have Photoshop. Yeah, it's a program on your browser. It's better than Photopia that I've, that I've used before. It's way better. It doesn't get stuck uh, if you do too much. And it looks, you know, you can create some awesome, awesome stuff. If you want, of course, a tutorial on, on Pixlr, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to make something. Uh, but first I have to figure out the program a bit more than I have now. But if you're interested in that, like maybe an anime header or something like that, or maybe like a template that you can guys can use on this because I know a lot of you guys use this and yeah I'm happy to do something like that so if you enjoyed this video of designer uses Pixlr for the first time <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'm happy to do something again in this program thank you guys for watching leave a like of course subscribe trying to hit the 10k before the end of the year would be awesome and I'll see you guys in the next one peace